Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when voice chat or the microphone is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to restart the game. Just close the game and then launch the game once again and then check if that does not work. Restart your computer once. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So restart your computer and then check. Still not working. Now, if you're using any kind of audio interface with multiple channels and inputs, in that case, the game may be using one of the channel or inputs which may not be your mic so to fix it go to the settings of that particular interface software and then combine the inputs and it may work this has worked for many players so it might work for you now the next step is if you're using this in that case you can click on the three dots at the top right then go to preferences then go to device check the option which says combine input one and input two and then mute the input which you are not using. It may be input one. And then check. This has also worked for many players, so it might work for you. Next step is to, if you are using SSL2, try to turn on and then turn off the push to talk option. So try both on and off and then check. Next step is to go to in-game settings and change the microphone to something else and then put it back to the original mic. So launch the game first. Now, once you launch the game, you can go to settings and then go to audio. Scroll down over here, you can see microphone. So you can just set it to something else. And then you can again put it back to the original microphone and then you can check. And you can even try push to talk on or off and check which one is working fine for you. Now, still facing the problem, the next step is now, the, for many players, using the TTS has worked, so you can try this and then check. Still not working, then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video. Now, the next step is to press Window plus G on the keyboard. So, on your keyboard, press the Window key along with that, press G. And this will open Game Bar on your computer. And then over here, you can select your speaker. Make sure that you select your speaker over here. And then you can even go up to voice over here and make sure that you select your speaker over here. So for everything, select your speaker and then you can launch the game and then you can check. Still not working, then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video. So the first step is to check the volume levels and volume mixture. So on the bottom right, you can see the speaker icon, click on it and then make sure sound is set to high over here and then make a right click on the speaker icon and then click on open volume mixture now over here uh, find your application or browser uh, where you are actually uh, checking the sound so make sure this is set to 100 now the next step is to select the right audio device in sound settings so open windows 11 settings and then go to system and then click on sound and make sure you have the right audio device selected. So if you're using headphone, make sure the right headphone is selected. Now, whichever audio device you're using, make sure that particular audio device is selected over here. Now, still you're facing the problem then, disable headphone in recording tab in sound control panel. So type in control panel in window search box and then click on control panel. Now click on hardware and sound. Now click on sound. Now this will open sound control panel. Now go to the recording tab and then select your headphone or audio device over here and then make a right click and then disable it. So disable your headphone or audio device in recording tab and then click on apply, click on OK and then check the sound. Now the next step is to set sound sample rate to 48 or 44,000 hertz in sound control panel. So again, type in control panel in window search box and then open control panel, hardware and sound, then click on sound. Now select your headphone or your speaker, select your speaker, select the right speaker. And then once you select it, make a right click and then select properties or once you select it, select click on properties on the bottom and then go to advanced tab. And over here, you can select the lowest one, that is the, the one at the bottom. You can try 24-bit 48,000 hertz, or you can even try 16-bit 48 
thousand hertz or you can try 24 bit 44 44 100 thousand hertz or 44,100 hertz. So try different sample rate and then apply and then click on OK and then check the sound. Now the next step is to disconnect controller. So if you're, if you're using the controller, disconnect controller and the USB dongle. Uh, if it is connected, disconnect it and then check the sound. Next step is to turn off spatial sound. Again, for this type in control panel and then open control panel, so hardware and sound, then click on sound. Now select your speaker and then click on properties, go to the spatial sound tab and then turn it off. And then click on apply, click on OK and then check the sound. Next step is to disable Oculus or voice meter audio device under both recording and playback in sound control panel. So, so again op open control panel, go to sound over here. And now over here under playback tab, if you have Oculus or voice meter, any virtual speaker over here, make a right click and then disable it. So if you have any other uh, audio device over here, which you are not using, you can disable it from playback tab and from recording tab as well. So if you have any other audio device, which you are not using like Oculus, voice meter or any other audio device, make a right click and disable it. So once you disable it, hit apply and then click on OK and now check the sound. Next, and do the same thing in device manager. So make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager. Now expand sound video and game controller, expand it. Now select your headphone or your speaker. So select the right audio device over here. Actually, you have to disable Oculus or voice meter in device manager. I'm sorry about that. So if you uh, find any other audio device over here which you are not using. You can simply make a right click and then click on disable device. So if you find a coolest or voice meter or any other audio device which you are not using, you can make a right click and disable it and then make sure you have the that speaker which you are using, the headphone or speaker which you are using, that is not disabled, that is enabled. So make sure the right audio device is enabled and the audio device which you're not using are disabled and then you can check the sound. Next step is to uncheck hands-free telephony. Now for this copy this command, this command is provided in the video description. Open run box, so type in run in Windows search box and then open run box and then paste the command over here and then click on OK. This will open the screen. Now over here you will find your speaker or headphone. So this is for example, so in my case, this is the headphone or speaker or your audio device, which if you find it, make a right click and then click on properties. Now go to the services tab. And uncheck the box which says hands-free telephony. So if this is checked, uncheck this box and then click on apply, click on OK. And now check check the sound. Next step is to run audio troubleshooter. Now for this, open Windows 11 settings. Now go to system and then click on troubleshoot over here. Now click on other troubleshooters. And over here you will find audio. So click on run. Now once the troubleshoot is complete, restart your computer and then check the sound. Next step is to roll back audio drivers. To roll back audio drivers, make a right click on the start menu and then open device manager. Now expand sound video and game controller. Now select your audio device. So select your headphone or audio device, the right audio device and then roll back the driver. So make a right click and then this is just an example. You select your audio device over here and then select properties and then go to the driver tab. Now over here, if roll back driver is highlighted, in my case, this is grayed out. If this is highlighted, you can click on roll back driver and then roll back the driver. So if this is grayed out like this, you can skip this step. Now the next step is to reinstall audio driver from device manager. So make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager and then expand sound, video and game controllers. Again, select your headphone or uh, your audio device, the right, right audio device and then select properties. Go to driver tab and then click on update driver.
click on update driver now click on search automatically for drivers and if there is any update let the update complete if that does not work you can click on search for updated drivers on windows update click on it this will open windows settings now if there is any update over here let the update complete restart the computer and then check the sound now still you are facing the problem then make a right click on the audio device once again click on update driver and then click on browse my computer for drivers then click on let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer now over here this is just an example there might be some other audio device in in your case so now for for me it's realtek right now so if realtek audio is selected in that case you can you can select high definition audio device and then click on next and install it restart your computer and then check the sound but if you see high definition audio device over here in that case you can select realtek and then click on next install it restart your computer and then check the sound next step is to check for disabled device enable it and make it default now for this open control panel and then go to hardware and sound sound and select your headphone or the right audio device and then if set default is highlighted you can click on set default so make your headphone or speaker as default and then check the sound next step is to restart windows audio service now for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find windows audio service so over here you can see windows audio make a double click over here make sure startup type is set to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on okay now with windows update windows audio selected over here make a right click click on restart or you can select this and then click on restart the service once the restart is done now check the sound next step is to perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services put a check over here first and then click on disable all so make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on disable all then click on apply click on okay you will see a restart option restart a computer and then check the sound next step is to uninstall the audio driver and restart a computer so to uninstall the audio driver make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager expand sound video and game controllers and select your headphone or audio device the right one and then make a right click then click on uninstall device now click on uninstall now after you uninstall restart your computer now during the system restart your the windows will install the default drivers for the audio and then you can check the sound but still you are facing the problem then install the audio driver from system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell website if you have lenovo computer go to lenovo website if you have hp computer go to hp website so go to your system manufacturer website and then select your model number so make sure that you select your model number this is just an example i'm showing from dell website so make sure that you go to your to your system manufacturer website select your model number now once you select your model number you can go to drivers and download page and find your audio driver so find your audio driver download it install it restart your computer and then check the sound now the last step is to verify the game file so make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100% complete launch the game and then check the sound so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the audio issue with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel